What more can you say? We've all heard the phrase, do you believe in miracles? I'm Nathan Epstein, and tonight, all of Monarch Nation believes. Left for dead, 0-3 to start the season, Old Dominion welcomed a 2-0 Virginia Tech team, ranked 13th in the nation. They also started the year with a win at Florida State. Monarch's 27-and-a-half point underdogs with that Let's go back to SB Ballard Stadium, a sold out home field for Old Dominion, 20,500 on hand, record crowd, second quarter, game tied at 7 all. Josh Jackson and the Hokies go to the air. Sean Zavoy, 28 yard touchdown catch, Hokies take the lead 14 to 7, but Old Dominion would respond to every Hokies punch. Third quarter, Monarchs down 21-14, Blake LaRusa, the backup with a historic night, walks it in. We're tied at 21, start of the fourth quarter. Old Dominion again, down seven. On third down and one, LaRusa locks in for Travis Fulgham. 25-yard touchdown, 188 yards receiving for Fulgham tonight, tied at 28, under 10 minutes left to play. The give goes to the big back, Jeremy Cox. Through the lunch pail defense, it's 35-28 Old Dominion. But the Hokies aren't done. With their backup quarterback, Willis, on fourth down, rolls and hits Cunningham for the game-tying score with just over five minutes left to play. Again, Monarchs would not be denied. La Russa, the last of his four touchdown passes. Jonathan Duhart, the catch in traffic. Three touchdown catches for Duhart. La Russa throws for 495 yards. And here's your clincher, Jeremy Cox. 40 yards, game, set, history. The biggest win in Bobby Wilder's career. 49-35, Old Dominion, your winner. This is a life-changing moment. Um, I think uh, getting married, having two sons, and beating Virginia Tech. Probably in that order. This is just an incredible experience. I'm speechless. I'm just, I'm glad my team never gave up. We didn't stop grinding throughout the week after 0 3. We came out here, we had a belief, and we did it. I was speechless and I, was, I had some tears come out. And you know, I just got swallowed up by fans after that. And man, I was on the ground crying, laying down flat on my face, just thanking God, just going crazy, man, because it, I mean, it's, it's unreal. And, you know, especially, you know, it being Virginia Tech. And you know the battles that we went through this uh, the beginning of our season, man, it's, it's fun. I reminded them nobody will ever forget them. They'll always be remembered. And everybody who wasn't here tonight will say they were here, that they were part of this. And that's a special moment. And for those guys uh, and uh, all our players and coaches, I'm really happy for them. What more can you say about Blake LaRusa? The backup quarterback throws for 495 yards, three yards shy of a record against a Bud Foster defense. He gives Old Dominion its first ever win over a Power 5 team, and no surprise, he's your starter moving forward. Here he is on his incredible night. It's a fun night. I'll, I'll never forget it. Yeah, it's been a long, it's been a long journey. Um, it's been a long journey, but just just keep just keep working every day and you know trusting that God has me here for a purpose um, no matter what we're going through no matter what you know everybody's saying no matter you know nothing uh, it's just it's been fun tonight's been a fun night. when you have a performance like that um, that becomes the leader of your offense because everybody on the sideline everybody in the locker room everybody in the stands now looks at Blake LaRusa differently Old Dominion at East Carolina next weekend now how will everyone look at Virginia Tech, a team that began the season with an impressive win at Florida State? They barreled through William & Mary. Here was their coaching staff after the loss tonight. Congratulations to ODU. And they absolutely deserve to win the football game. You're not going to hear anything out of my mouth that takes away from that victory for them. They played harder. They played better in all three areas of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. Hey, I'm disappointed in how we played. I'm most disappointed in our discipline level. Hey, our discipline level was unacceptable tonight, and I'm sorry for that. I was thoroughly embarrassed and disappointed in our play defensively, and I take full responsibility for it. Me as the defensive coordinator, uh, that kind of display of, um, of just very inconsistent, poor technique fundamentals, poor discipline, um, that's just not who we are, and we'll get that right. Incredible night for the rest of the scores of the day. You can go to wavy.com and click on sports. Congratulations to Old Dominion.